Union to Lee trying to uh, bring the ball into Huddersfield territory down the right hand side with Mulhern. Three. He's brought down just over the Marcus 40 Square. meter line. Papi waits again at Dummy Haas, spins it out to the left hand side this time into the middle. And uh, referee not happy with that challenge. Yeah, come it's on, uh, it's Tom Amon who goes down. Yeah, it's that rule that's clamped down. We saw enough of it last night, but that one, no intent really, in it. Just a little change of angle, and it's a lazy little arm, and it almost just brushes him under the chin. That's why it's a penalty and no more. And that will be taken into account, won't it? It's very much the referee's discretion to decide as to whether he feels that there was a degree of intent or not in deciding whether or not there'll be a penalty or worse. Through the middle, though, with Amon. A real pile driver of a player. Tappi waiting again, referee says six again, that's a set restart, so they've got a real opportunity here now, the Leopards, to try and bring it forward. Moylan getting his uh, hands on the ball for the first time as uh, Ipapi from Hughes down the left-hand side, and then they scored here, opportunity. Well, has he got a hand on the ball there? Kai O'Donnell flying through the air acrobatically, the players think the ball has definitely been touched down. The referee, however, says he thinks there is no try. So, for the first time, we will be going to the ref video referee, Tom Grant. We've got no try on field. We're checking onside, offside and grounding. Pause the ball on the foot. Need to go in tighter to see that. So everyone to the left of the kicker is onside. So we're just looking at the players to the left at this point. And now we're towards the grounding now. Kick through, challenge is okay. So we need something tighter under their ball line. On field call of no try. Need to go back on that. On field call of no try. Camera two might be best. I'm close in on camera two. Again, on field call of no try. So the right knee of the lead player is on the dead ball line as the ball is grounded. I've got decision, thank you. Well, as is always the case, Kyle, it is a game of very, very fine margins. And it's a very difficult call to make, but it does look as though the knee has made contact with the whitewash there. Yeah, but it's simultaneous. Yeah. Breathe a sigh of relief, but it's that left edge again. And it's larger through Asiata. Ball playing through the middle of the field, introducing Lockie Lamb. And a beautiful little kick, and the chase from O'Donnell was good. But just that last part you mentioned, a game of inches, that right knee touching the dead ball line. But there's the warning First, shot, Lee. If you're going to give penalties, sorry, Huddersfield, if you're going to give penalties away through ill discipline, six against, well, you're going to put yourself under the pump because this Lee Leopard side Where can attack. You can indeed. Here's Milner, an attack at the moment. Sam Hewitt brings it along to the middle. And uh, a first touch for Ikehi Hufo, just over the halfway line. That's a good break. Sam Hewitt. Trying to burst his way through the line and tackled with 30 to go. Bit of pressure building here for the Giants as Russell sprays it out to the left hand side for Murchie. Murchie with 20 still to go as he comes to the fifth tackle here. Opportunity to try and put some real pressure as Connor hoists the ball in towards the corner. It's a bit of pinball, but eventually Lee have possession. Kick for Adam Swift. He couldn't take it in. 
falls into the arms of the Lee Leopards. And the offload again here, Robbie Mulhern. Gets He's still going. Ball. Mulhern on the 10-metre line. And Huddersfield doing their best to try and pen them in Woo! as they come to the 20. Over on the tackle. Chris Hill, quick Go play of the ball, or Pape is off. Pape is through in the middle here. So Huddersfield players having to bring him down. He's a real live wire if Pape. Mulhern now work towards the halfway line. High ball hoisted up by Lachlan Lamb. And into the arms of Adam Swift making his debut for Huddersfield tonight. I'm trying to cause a bit of trouble in the Leopards defence. Neither side really being able to get hold of the scruff of the neck of this game yet. At the moment, Kyle, it's all good completed sets and that one little chance that uh, Lee had a little earlier, but neither side really getting hold of it yet. No, again, it's just a set for set mentality and the only option, sorry, the only opportunity that have invited Lee is just a penalty, really, and that's the difference between him. So important you get your discipline right. We saw that last night over in Hull. And so far, this game's just been a bit of a stalemate. But it will open up, Fraser. It will. Murchie, I'm sure. Over on the left-hand side, and Milner waiting for it. Dummy half. Jones out to the left-hand side. Another high kick. And this time it's been spilled. And all over the place here. And Huddersfield think they may have got the ball down here. And it's Isan Masters who thinks he's got the touch. But the referee again is going to the video. Okay, so on field call of a try. We're looking at onside, offside, then into grounding. So again, pause the ball on the foot. We'll take this kind of angle for this. So the ball is on the foot there, so everyone is onside, just can play through. So we need something tight in on the on the challenge. Options here, so that comes off Jake Connor. Just looking to establish whether the ball goes backwards. If the ball goes backwards in relation to the ground, so it's play onto this point. That's then back off a lead player. And that goes backwards there, so if you keep playing through, still play onto this point. The ball then comes off the foot of Jake Connor and goes into his own man, who is in an onside position. And that's picked up clean. So we're now through towards the grounding. Just something we can see a finish shot on that. So it's clearly in possession at this point of falling. Ball's grounded. Thank you. I've made my decision. Okay. A second decision for the video ref to make. And he has made the decision that it is a try for the Huddersfield Giants, an inventive little piece of play. And Isan Masters is the man to get the first try of the season for the Huddersfield Giants. Yeah, Jake Connor, he just climbs higher than his opposite number. He's able to tap the ball backwards, and Masters, well, he just scoops it up, and he goes over for his first try since Hull in, back in September. Hoisted high ball, it was uh, a bit of pinball at the back, and Masters with a little bit of a fortuitous kick from Connor, uh, is able to finish it off.
And now the possibility of adding the extras. And put over by Oliver Russell. And so the Giants lead by six points to nil. Yeah, we mentioned about Jay Connor competing, didn't we, Fraser? Looking to regain that form that he showed during his time over at Hull FC. 33 try assists back in 2022. And he's just came up with another one there. Just out competing Gareth O'Brien. He gets a bit of fortune, a bit of luck with that ricochet of Briscoe. And Masters, the beneficiary of that. There's a brilliant start. 11 minutes gone and the Huddersfield Giants lead by six points to nil here on Sky Sports. Don't forget the only place where you can see all of Super League games live throughout the entire season. And the Giants have it again, uh, but this time the referee has uh, seen something he's not very happy with there. Yeah, it's a flop, isn't it? The tackle was complete. It was a hard carry from Chris Hill off kickoff. And it's just not what you want to do after conceding points. He's given a penalty away and just allow Huddersfield just to clear their own end as they cross 45 metres away. And that's another area that's going to be cleared up on this season. Move, move uh, the referees not having it if uh, players flop in the tackle or if there's hands on in the tackle. Um, also making sure that everybody plays the ball cleanly and properly, or at least attempts to. So it's still going to take uh, a little while for some players perhaps Help! to get used to that, Marcus uh, being square as well is another one that uh, they're looking at this year. Well, they've got to learn the hard way, aren't they, as Chris Hill gets his hands on the ball Move once more. 36 years old and still incredibly fit, operating at this level. Clune waiting for it, and here he is, brings it out to the left-hand side of Kahihifo. Uh, with the ball as he goes down under pressure. Milner waiting at dummy half, it looks like they might go to the right-hand side this time instead, and Clune out towards the right-hand side for corner, and they've got a bit of space here for Nagama to run into, as it takes four lead players to bring him out, and they put him into touch. And grit and determination being shown by the Lee Leopards players there, and look at who was in the middle of it. Uh, Kyle defense. O'Donnell again. Yeah, Kyle O'Donnell, Lachlan Lamb, Ricky Latelli, Josh Charnley all involved there, you just see them just drawing back. Nagama tries his very best to stay in the field of play, but he has nothing to answer for that. It was great seeing the uh, little story uh, that uh, we heard from uh, John and Jenna's uh, podcast the other day about uh, Ricky Lutelli and his influence on Matt Moylan coming over. But meantime, Leeds 2, Salford 2 and St Helens 10, London 0 in the other games going on uh, tonight. Uh, Ricky Lutelli saying that uh, apparently that it was uh, his fault that uh, they'd had a few sherbets, so to speak, <laughs> before uh, Matt Moylan was, was effectively talked into coming over here to, to Lee. That's how all contracts should be signed for Ezio, <laughs> a couple of sherbets. And Bory, before he knew it, uh, Derek Beaumont was picking him up in a, a leopard, uh, leopard print Lamborghini. This is a, a, a real great way to start your time here in Lee. Here's Rob Mulhern for the Leopards. Being pushed out towards the right hand side to uh, Matt Davis, who's come on as a substitute. If Pape has gone straight down to the dressing room, I'm being informed apparently he's picked up a knee injury. Oh. So that is terrible news as far as Salford are concerned. If they're losing one of their key players this early on in a game, he is a real talisman for the Leopards. The shining lights of the Lee Leopards last year, having that spine, having those key players all playing pretty much most of the season. We saw John Asiata miss the final four games, and didn't that hurt the Lee Club Fraser? Massively. Yeah. A lot of problems towards the back end of the season, of course, culminated in that uh, playoff eliminator defeat to Hull KR. I just wonder about the depth of the squad that Lee might have this season. Yes, they brought oh, in uh, Matt Moylan. Oh, yeah. That looked like it was forward. Indeed, Indeed it was. Uh, and the referee called it. He's come up with a couple of them so far, Adam Milner. And that's his basic job. He has to get that right. He looks to spray the ball wide. You just see it leaves his hands and it's... Oh, mind you. I thought it was Borderline. forward initially, live call. Yeah, but on that angle it shows it may not be the case. But... Jack Smith has deemed a forward two, pass, three, as the linesmen have as four, well. Five, so it doesn't two, matter, not now. It's three, a scrum five, and another opportunity. Yep. Very, very... Yeah, we're good, Matt. Pack it down, boys. Concerned if you keep inviting Lee into Drop this half of the field. 15 minutes gone. Uh, the Lee Leopards oh, on the attack, point. looking to get themselves back into the game. A terrific run there. Uh, but the referee, again, 
having a word with somebody, and it looks like somebody's given him a bit of back chat in back play, uh, and he's given a penalty as a result. So Moylan will get the ball. Bit of indiscipline there, perhaps, from Huddersfield. Yeah, I think it's Chris Hill as well. He just lets the referee know what he's thinking. And you can't shout that at me. He was just offered there uh, by Jack Smith. So uh, clearly wanting to make sure the players know who's boss. As the Leopards come out to the right hand side now. But Fraser, this is where Lee won lethal last year. Set field positions, going through a pre planned move, and then now looking to pull the trigger. Just look at the shape that's hanging out here on this left edge. That's the art of directing his troops in and around that middle of the field. Here comes the big shift. And then pushing it out to the right hand side as he brings it now down to the left as they come through the middle here now. The Lee Leopards, they've got their tails up a little bit. Three tackles gone. And they'll push it out to the left side again now. Little Grubber kicked through for Charlie to go chasing after, but the defender's done a very, very good job indeed there. Jake Connor has got back well and smothered the ball. Yeah, detail and shape once again. This time it's Gareth O'Brien, who looks to be the architect, a lovely, soft, delicate kick. And Jake Connor does so well to scoop it up. Josh Charlie doing his job and making sure he rushes him over the line to reforce a repeat set. Six yeah. more for the Giants to defend. Referee having more words with Chris Hill. Yeah, Hill clearly got uh, a bit of a bee in his bonnet about Jake. something. We need to get on with the game. So, hoisted forward towards the halfway line. And Tom O'Neill will pick it up. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh he's lost it as well. Smashing his way through wow. defenders, but he's lost the ball in the process. And, well, temper started to boil over a little bit as the. Uh, Giants just congratulate themselves a little bit there as a moan lost possession. The referee having a look at this as well because the Leopards not happy at all about how that has turned out. Beautiful contact, wasn't it? Don't come in from distance like that. Just don't. A little bit more in that ball. There's a hand in the ball there. Does it, does it come out? Is Kajo got his hands in there? I don't think there's anything in that. It's just a solid bit of defensive work, and Tom Amorn just spills the ball. It's like running through a brick wall, wasn't it? There, Tom Amorn. But you can see the steam rising off the players there in this cold February evening. As uh, these players really put the effort in. The heat coming off those bodies will be intense. The referee not happy with the way the scrum is going here. And there's all sorts of complaining going in at the middle there. Rob Milhern is right in the middle of it. Either way, we'll try again, and it's still a problem here. And Mulhern really not happy in leaving Force back another 10, 10 metres here. Robbie Mulhern, just like Chris Hill before, just trying to take the game into his own hands and talk to the referee as he wants, and Jack Smith having none of it. I must apologise for uh, any foul language that you may have heard there while the uh, oh. referee was having words with one or two players. We apologise for that. Uh, they do get very passionate, as you can imagine. And they're spicing up now, Dave. Sorry, Fraser, this game. Hewitt on the halfway line. And he's not... Uh, Nagama out to his left, his right, but the ball goes to the left instead. And it's Kajo, and there are three Leopards players, now four, coming in for the tackle as things are starting to get a little bit more spicy. Milner pushing it forward. Three players in the tackle again here. As Clune waits down to the left-hand side, bringing it out towards Hewitt again. 20 metres to go, it's only on the third challenge here as they try and push their way with Sebastien Ikahihifo and suddenly it's starting to open up a little bit here now as Milner to the right hand side, down the line they go Chris Hill, 10 metres from the line, waiting for support Clune sprays it wide and then chips into the corner just under the posts and just too much on that. Yeah, terrible option really from Adam Clune. He just tries to roll it in goal, but there's nobody else expecting it inside. And the kick's just too heavy. And it's a let off for Lee. Oh, but that's better. Oh, oh they don't like that. No, that was big, coming. Big challenge. 
Fraser, this was coming. We saw it the set earlier after Robbie Mulhern gives the penalty away in the scrum. One or two bodies flying in, and I think the initial contact was okay under the ball. Well, I think it was, was the subsequent yeah, throw think, onto the ground yeah, that they weren't happy about. Maybe in a dangerous position, but initially it looked okay. Josh Chanley, first of all, hit and then lifted. I'm not sure his legs go past the horizontal, so... No, but they're off the ground, and he's given a real dumping onto the floor. But, as you say, not past the horizontal, so there shouldn't be anything really for the referee to have any major problem with. I wouldn't have thought so. Jack Smith's obviously going to have a look at it, but I didn't feel that his legs, Josh Charlie's legs were tipped past the horizontal, he wasn't really put in a dangerous position. He doesn't land on his neck or his head. No, I've just got a bit of rust in with well, Chris Hill and Tom Jack, Jack Smith uh, uh, really to. has to try and get a handle on this game because it's in danger of really boiling over. And uh, we saw how it was last night in the Hull derby, with two players sent off. Yeah. Well, I think Jack Smith's just got to calm them down. I think he senses that there's a bit of spice, a bit of heat happening, and he needs to just put a lid on this. Well, Tom Amone being called over, along with Chris Hill. So the uh, two captains having a word. I know it's intense, the first game of the season, it's fine. We've crossed the line, it's a penalty. We then don't need players coming in, we've got some rutting from yourself in here with Tom Amone. Just leave it at that. Go back, Chris, the first defence is a penalty, come on. Apologies again if you uh, heard some uh, unsavoury language there, uh, picked up by the uh, referees, Mike, but uh, Jack Smith really having to try and get a handle on this one. And a good call, though, as well, Fraser. I didn't feel there was anything more in it. Ricky just needs Metallic. everybody to calm down a bit. Well, it's his round one, emotions are running high. You know, Huddersfield Giants, the scoreboard at the moment, is spoiling the party a quarter of the way through this game. The Leopards are on the Giants' 40-metre line, thrown in through to the middle. And uh, Asiata, as they wait for it in the middle with Matt Davis, and a little bit of a spring and a shimmy there from O'Donnell again, in towards the 10-metre line. He's been a bit of a live wire in this game so far. Asiata down to Lamb, trying to find some space. Moylan picking it through to Charlie! Lee's lethal left strikes again, and the old campaigner Josh Charney does what he does best. But the referee wants to make sure he's got a try on the field. But we'll send this one once again to the video ref. Okay, it's tackle four. We've got a try on field, onside, offside, into grounding. Again, pause the ball on the foot. So, everybody to the left of the kicker is onside. Let's run this through. So we're okay with that now. We're in towards the grounding. Contact is okay. Appears to be okay. The best one is this one. from the side. The ball is moving. Thank you, I've seen all I need. Video referees at every single game this year, so no debates about whether the decisions are right or wrong. And there you have it, Josh Charnley 
continues where he left off in 2023. 30 tries from 32 games last season. Yeah, that lethal left edge, Fraser. Strikes again. Masiata out the back. And Gaz O'Brien. Kevin Agama goes to kill, but the skill from just there. Brilliant try. Yeah, we've got the bank on. Well, Zach Hardacre with a testing kick from this near side touchline. Very, very difficult for him to uh, to get this one over from a very, very tight angle. And he's just pulled it to the left-hand side as a result. But the upshot is that the Lee Leopards are back in the game with just coming up for 23 minutes gone on the clock. And the Lee Leopards back in the game <laughs> thanks to this yeah, from Josh Charnley. How many times have we seen him do that? Really well, 27 that. times you, last year. Bar, your gets off 2024 20, to a flyer. Again, it was beautiful timing, beautiful back, shape. Yeah. It is time, but he's just gone back. 33 years of old. Of age, rather. And uh, as you mentioned, third in the all time try scoring list. The try behind Ryan Hall and Danny Maguire. And you'd. Uh, Definitely feel that he's uh, got a lot more still left to give. He's certainly got a couple more years on his clock, hasn't he? It's another penalty given away. It's hands on the play of all area. Leroy Kudjo again. He's messing around. And an area that uh, will be cleared up by the referees this season. Latest scores from the other grounds over at uh, Headingley. Leeds Rhinos 8, Salford Red Devils 8, and Saints 16 nil up against the newly promoted London Broncos. That's a real baptism of fire for London against your old side, Kyle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, difficult task any time going to Saints. Now, never mind in round one and a newely promoted side. You know, they're going to have a difficult and tough year on the London Broncos, there's no doubt about that. Well, Hearn on the halfway line as uh, Davis finds it out to the right. back in possession again and now Asiata out towards the left side for O'Donnell oh, no, ready for the support of Lutelli yeah, back into Lachlan Lamb towards the oh. halfway line Moylan now out to the right hand side as uh, O'Brien comes into the line last tackle there, as uh, they wait for it and the referee blows up here he gets, he gets the ball, you get the ball. Yeah, Gareth O'Brien, he just spills it at the last part of that play of the ball area. Just looking at it, there's so much to be excited about if you're a Lee Leppard fan. The Lachlan Lamb just saw Matt Moylan's gorgeous little kick to set Josh Charlie's try up earlier. They've got a threat all over the park, and then you chime in Gareth O'Brien out the back, who we've seen over a number of years has the ability to find that cut out past the wingers. Such a threat. Huddersfield on the attack again and uh, Swift over on that far side and now Masters over on the far side as well and it looks like he's lost possession there as well so Lee are going to get the ball back again here are they? Yeah, just a basic error we got a thought right in moments ago and this time it's Masters Well it's that time of year isn't it I mean it, it's, it's cool there's been a lot of rain here over the course of the day um, the grass is a little bit wet, it's going to be a little bit greasy. We saw it a lot last night in the yeah, whole game, didn't we? It's to be expected this time of year. You say it is round one, but some of the errors are just basic, aren't they, at the moment? Heads in, spills loose, it. heads in. Shot clock off, ball mark, out! Yeah, just tripping up there as he tried to get back up to his feet. First, move Leroy! Second oh, substitution oh, for Huddersfield. So uh, Oliver okay, Wilson then. comes on. Two. Move Jack! Sam Hall Just over the 30-metre line. Ten Lee Leopards in Huddersfield territory as Moylan oh, hands to to Kai O'Donnell. O'Donnell is brought down just 10 metres from the line and Charlie was off like a rocket now, waiting for the ball, waiting for a pass that never came. Lachlan Lambeau, this time to Asiata. He's wrapped up in the challenge. Oh, Moylan having to backpedal just a little bit. Oh, the skill there from Lock and Lamb, the no-look pass to his back rower, and they're coming again down this side. Moylan once more 
Flung into the right hand side, little hands again from Lutelli, but uh, oh, too quick. Field. And Nagama, Nagama could be away here if he can find himself some space. It's a great covering challenge from Ricky Lutelli, just over the halfway line. Otherwise, Nagama had the try line begging there. Yeah, and the Giants now transition in defence into attack. Lutelli goes for the little flick. Josh Charlie tries to pat it back, and it falls into the arms of Nagama. And they're exploring this left hand side of the field Dude, now. My boy Quickly passing it out from right to left now on the opposite flank. Back inside once more it comes with Kajo. It's in now with Wilson. Now, out towards the 30 meter line. And Huddersfield just sensed that they might be able to get something out of this set here. Kajo as he manages to hand it off. 20 meters short of the line. We're on the fifth Pick tackle. Again. Milner is waiting for it. Waiting for too long, in fact, and that's a set free start. And Huddersfield will get another six here as they push the ball down the left-hand side, but has that taken away a little bit of their momentum? Murchie is the man who was tackled there. They bring it back into Kajo, 10 metres from the line. He'll eat up some more energy from those lead really defenders. Shot. As Milner waits a dummy half, he's got Wilson along his right-hand side, brings it back inside to Hewitt. Again, 10 metres from the line. Clume shouting directions here. But it's back again with Milner, down to the left-hand side. Kajo just waiting for it. Kajo, can he offload it? Just oh. short of the feet. And that will go through over the line. And a chance gone begging. Yeah, Leroy Kujo had some decent moments in that set. The short pass there from Matty English just feeds him through a hole. He does the right thing, tries to promote the ball. Well, I think it's Oliver Russell who can't quite take it off his bootlaces. There's a chance gone begging. Kajo with the throw out, and as you say, yeah, just off the boot laces, though, it, was, it? it was it was there for the taking. Yeah. Decent stuff there Come from on. the Giants. Yeah. Heads in! Matt, head in! Almost half an hour gone. Drop block off. Ball, Matt! Out. Well, Leopard's on their own 10 metre line, and Charlie trying to bring it through for the home go. side. Down the left flank. Utelli. Ready for support. That he possesses. Back in from Lamb. Towards the centre. Great. Move now, Lee. Waiting in the middle. He is Davis. Through the middle to Asiata. Moan just behind him, but Davis off the ball. comes Get back ball. in. Right. That dummy ball. half. Ball. Robbie Mulhern now. For Last the Leopards. On to the fifth. Go five. Down to the right Quick. flank. And Moylan with a kick towards the corner. It. Oh, he's been hit late. Okay. Matt Moylan, just as he kicks the ball, a Holyfield giant player Stand just takes him out. Off yeah, taken out in back play there. And that will be a penalty, penalty for, for the home side. Yeah. Could Joe and Murchie, I think, just combining there to. Well, they were committed. But uh, referee gives a penalty nonetheless. And it looks as though they might be taking the two here. Jack, just be really careful. The referee just having a word. He's just been handed over to Hardacre. I don't think the decision's been made yet. Or has it? Maybe stops that Not game, Fraser, hasn't it? It, is, it has hasn't been, been I mean, no real flow. Hardacre's Chris looking to the bench. It doesn't seem to have been a, a decision made. Nobody really knows what's going on there. Are they taking the two or are they not? No, I think they're going to play off. They're going to run it. I think it's the right option as well to do so. They certainly look like two different teams, don't they, Lee, as they come out of their own end. Very conservative, Help! just get through the set. Really? They're much more expansive down this end of the field. You can tell already people falling into shape. Asiata with his hands on the ball now. Mulhern bring it forward to the 10 metre line. And they've got time. And they've got plenty of tackles here. Lee to try and push their way over. Asiata now towards a moan. Moan held up, but he's still going. Just short of the line and he's lost possession there, has he? Oh, and he gives a penalty away. Tom Amon, he feels he's won the floor. He tries to play the ball quickly and just spills it. Oh. And then takes it into his own hands to try and spray the referee. 
and there's been too much of that for me. We've seen a couple of incidents with Huddersfield and a couple of leads. You're talking to the referee. Get the ball to the ground and try and play it as quick as physically yeah, possible. Yeah, I'm on. You have to have balance. I'm, I'm talking to you, please. You have to have balance and control. You've not got that. He has no control whatsoever. And as we've mentioned, that is an area that the referees are going to be clearing up this season. But there's no control there, I mean, he's fallen over the ball effectively, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a claim that Adam Milner was holding him back, but he knows what he's doing. Nagama then for the Giants to get us uh, back and underway. Just over he's half an hour in. gone. Go. Huddersfield Giants leading legal efforts by six points to four. Live and exclusive here on Sky Sports, the only the place where you can watch all of Super League this season. Down to the left-hand side. Uh, don't just to let you know oh, that God, Matt Moylan, by the way, has gone off the pitch for Lee Leffords to have a head injury assessment. So that's a Pape and Moylan. How will the Lee Leffords call their key players? Yeah, be interested to see how key key heart. players. Huddersfield on the attack though. Down the left hand side, Masters. And he's eventually brought down, just short of the line. Swift waiting for it. He chose it himself here, Adam Swift. Oh, like this is getting from bad to worse. The referee's not happy with this. Somebody's getting in the bin. I couldn't see exactly who it was. It might be John Asiata. Yeah. It's a yellow card. Well, Fraser, we wow. mentioned there, Ipape going in, off. Matt Moylan going off with a HIA. Well, now they've lost Asiata. So all that's good about Lee Leppard's is not going to be on the field for the foreseeable future. It's going bad from bad to worse for the home side. So, a yellow card and ten minutes in the bin for John Asiata. And I think if Huddersfield Giants are going to win this game, they have to post points in this period now before half-time, Fraser. Absolutely vital, it's Wilson bringing it forward towards the try-line, just waiting for some help in the shape of English. They've gone over here, have they? It looks like they have. The ball is dabbed down. The referee will again want to have a little look at this one. And there's pushing and shoving going on in the aftermath again. There's been too much of this nonsense for me. Adam Milner just pinches a try from nine. Like all good nines do, they see space in and around the rock area. Adam Milner just poaches over and scores. I mentioned how important it is that they get that try. Two plays later. Well, yeah, Jack Smith has had an awful play lot play on his plate this evening. So, uh, he's seems just like every so much to sort out. You've got to have eyes in the back of your head for this game. Somebody firing into each other, whether it's going to eat water. But. Let's have another look at this one as Milner goes over. Has he got the ball down there? Well, it's been given either way. But as we have another look at the replay, there yeah, you the go, there's there. the contact. Yeah, yeah. Gareth O'Brien, his first initial movement, Fraser, is to head out. And Robbie Mulhern, he tries to close the gap, shut the gate. And he can't make it in time, and Adam Milner scores. And brings the scoreboard to 10-4 with the kick to come. Holly Russell, perhaps his easiest kick of the night, most well, certainly is, actually. One from one so far for Ollie Russell. I have a strong suspicion it'll be two from two from this particular angle. Indeed it is. Yeah. Adam it just pinching one from nine. Five minutes to go. John Asiata off the field. Edwin yeah. Ipapi off the field. And Matt Moylan off the field with a head injury assessment. And this is the result. Lee Leopards without some of their key players at six and sevens. Well, and this is what many people thought, you know, the Lee Leopards second season syndrome. I actually believe that the discipline tonight just shows that perhaps there might be a little bit of that. You know, I know it might sound crazy, 35 minutes into round one. But there's some ugly signs there that they're getting involved in much, and if they're going to be that top sort of four side and want to continue to progress, then they're going to have to be better than getting involved in little ruckuses like that. Mighty English for 
the visitors really onto the 20 metre okay. line. He seems to be having quite a, an impact on the side since coming onto the field. Could Joe to the 30. Goal three. Waiting for support. Milner, the try scorer, gets it away down the left side. There you go. The visitors as Masters again. Up to the halfway line. Oh, move together, Lee, and square! It's going to be a good examination, Frazee. We mentioned already those three players off the field. Well, what is in the Lee Leopards arsenal to call move now. in these sorts of periods, these moments in games? Murchie is the man who's tackled as Milner gets it away down the left hand side. And that's a forward pass. Much to the joy of the home fans who perhaps feel that uh, some of the decisions haven't really gone their way this evening. Three forward passes, I make that now for the Giants. Ian Watson will just be asking his players just to get the depth and the timing a little bit better. Go, Jack! Talking fractions of a second, of course, but handing the ball over when you've got it in possession is criminal. So, on the 40. Move now! For the Lee Leopards, we've got just over three minutes. Two. Oh no! Like remaining. Go, you're not square, you're not square first, that's it! As Mel Hurd to the Huddersfield 14 over the line. Third, off the Ready for support. Oh. Lee down the left flank again. Lachlan Lamb into Kai O'Donnell. And another penalty being given, but this time it's gone the way of the Huddersfield Giants. And Kai O'Donnell looks disconsolate, he's no idea. Why that's been awarded. Time off. You're gonna have to get your blood started, mate. You're bleeding. You've got Smith. a load of blood coming from Kyle O'Donnell to get like sorted. We've, we've got a uh, player, blood injury here. But, uh, you'll be able to see in a second. Well, as O'Donnell yeah, lost the ball as he's gone down in the challenge there. Yeah, well, Jack Smith was stood right in front of it, Fraser, so his eyes were in a better position. Those Huddersfield Giants fans, well, not you too sure that too many of them yeah, would have thought. You don't, you don't need, you don't 37 minutes on the clock, they'd have an eight score lead away from home in round one to the Challenge Cup holders. The playoff contenders, perhaps. The game has been very stop start, not much flow to it, lots of errors, penalties, stoppages in play through the video ref. So, really waited to see it burst into light. You still need a half, lad! Huddersfield had uh, a nightmare half. of an opening start last year. They lost seven Tom of the opening 11 the games. Picked yeah, up in the Tampa middle, of course, but uh, oh. eventually finishing with five defeats in the last seven matches as they First. ended the table oh, in no. ninth place. No Certainly with uh, Ian Watson having had an awful lot of time and money invested in his squad over these three years previous. It's another mistake, isn't they, it? They really need to uh, to kick on now. But yes, as you say, hey, another Adam's, mistake here. Adam Swift thinks that he's being pushed off the play of the ball, but it's an incorrect play of the ball. And once again, Lee, they're going to start to set 30 metres away from their opposition line. It's Gareth O'Brien looking threatening through the middle of the field. 20 metres really off right. the Huddersfield Hold try line Hold. as they wait for the Hold. ball. McDonald out to the left hand side, trying to work it through. Three. For Lamb. Davis waiting at dummy half out towards the right to Amon. Oh, no! Five or six metres short of the line. Momentum building for the Lee Leopards. Out to the right hand side. Lachlan Lamb with a long pass. But wrapped up in the challenge and he's lost the ball there as well. Oh, good shot there from Masters. And it looks as though Huddersfield will get it back once more. Yeah, Masters just comes in and kills the player. On Gareth O'Brien and manages to dislodge the ball. And again, it's just another error. Zach Hardaker was complaining that uh, the challenge was a bit high. Makes a little play for him. It was lost into the man first. Shaq Smith has had so much explaining to do in this game, but it, it, the players haven't made it easy for him at all, have they? Oh, it's not been the prettiest of halves in terms of quality. Less than a minute remaining in this first half. The Giants leading. And the Giants in possession on their own 10 metre line. There's uh, Nagama. Mukai! Has it? Milner waiting. Just behind him. 
crazy. We Take felt it. and heard that up here. Oh, <laughs> really? Take Take it, it, right. Sam Hewitt. Move, Rob. Oh, move together, Lachlan. Just waiting for some kind of spark in this game. And um, well, there we go. It's been a strange kind of a first half, very stop start. Lee Leffords have lost a couple of their major, major talents. And of course, uh, it's the Huddersfield Giants who are leading as we come into the, the end of the first half. Yeah, an eight point lead, and, and deservedly so as well. You mentioned the key players that the Lee Leopards have lost. Are they able to go contain and cope with that in the next 40 minutes? We'll find out. The scoreboard sits there. Lee Leopards 4, Huddersfield Giants 12. It's not been the spectacle that we were perhaps hoping for uh, from the first half of these two sides. Last season's Challenge Cup champions not exactly firing on all cylinders as of yet, but the Huddersfield Giants taking the advantage when they possibly can. Join us very, very shortly. We'll have half time as we get into the second half of the game by 12 points to four. Who do you think will be the, well, obviously Ian Watson because of the scoreline, but in terms of the performance, who's the happier coach, do you think? Well, I don't think either side really, Fraser, has performed particularly well, but it is round one, and I mentioned it last night. It's about the result here this evening, getting the two points and getting on, getting your season up and running. Performance can be looked at tailored and tweaked over the course of the next 10 months but I just feel that there's just been a little bit of ill discipline with and without the ball in this game and it hasn't been the prettiest hopefully the second half will give us much more flow but Ian Watson will be delighted to be up, up 12-4 at this stage it's almost had the feeling of a pre-season match hasn't it in some respects yeah yeah but so often it is across the whole competition in round one and once you get two or three games in, that's when the combination start. That's when the, you know, the mental groove of the players and the muscle memory kicks in. So it's the Giants who lead after the first 40. And it's uh, Tom Amone who's coming forward for the early Leopards. He was uh, very much involved in one or two of the flash points that we saw in the first half. Uh, the game just threatened to boil over just a little bit here and there. Davis waiting to receive at dummy half to the left hand side to Robbie Mulhern. What? Makes his way Ooh. over the halfway line. Mulhern again, pretty much at the center of everything for Lee in this Middle opening Middle. first 40 of the land. Was a high, high ball. And we're looking to challenge Connor. Connor did well to get hold of the ball. Testing for Jake Connor. Where Marcus? This again. Essential for the Giants to try and get a good start to the season this year. As uh, Adam Swift, one of their come new on, signings, on. goes down in the challenge. It's a little bit of a subdued atmosphere now here at uh, Lee Sports Village. It's uh, Milner and then contact on Hewitt as he's forced back towards the halfway line. Kick from corner. Harley again. The straight at the arms of Gareth O'Brien. O'Brien just finding up a little bit of space. And brought down. That's just a bit too much time there for Jake Connor to kick that ball. Hardacre towards the 30. Moylan back on the pitch, as we mentioned, having uh, passed that head injury uh, assessment. Good news for Lee after what's been a pretty Tory first half, especially with the loss of Edwin Papi. A very early do doors going off with uh, what looks like a, a knee injury. Down the left side, Halton. Papi hasn't returned to the bench at all, so it looks like he'll play no further part in this game. Mulhern. What? Through to the 40. Matty! Oh, the there of a flop there, Matty English. Last player, O'Brien, high and into that bottom right hand Ricky! corner, testing O'Connor. Looking for Connor again to the 10 metre line, and the referee, oh, not happy with the way that he was challenged there. Was he still in the air when the tackle was. Well, I think Jake O'Connor, yeah, I think Jake O'Connor, Cole Connor, sorry, takes that ball. Jake Connor. And Latelli comes flying over the top. Yeah. Well, it's concern here for Jake Connor. 
because the physios have gone straight over to have a close look at him. He looked like he was clattered there as uh, he hit the ground. A nightmare oh, year Not on me too, mate. for uh, Jake Connery in many respects. Mate, he's on the floor, yeah, he's got a few people around but, him. And, uh, he had got himself into much better shape this year, I'm told, way. lost some weight. He's he was very much it. chomping at the bit to get going and have a better season for Huddersfield this year. There's obviously nothing coming through. Obviously, on, uh, uh, on our screen, that's Jake Connor looking like he's in uh, a bit of bother here at the moment. But the physios, of course, and the medical staff from Huddersfield yeah. will be doing the best they possibly can. And, the and obviously, when it's a head injury, Kyle, we'll, we'll, we'll everything has to come to a stop, doesn't it? Yeah, it's especially just now, just yeah, with all these new rule changes, trying to make this game safer. Any sort of contact with the head will be looked at. And Jake yeah, Connor, he's sit, he's sitting as soon on as he catches that ball, he does everything off. right he's and makes him. himself small. But there's a huge commitment from the chase on that left edge of Ricky Latelli, and he just seems to go flying over the top, whether he catches him or not. Yeah, we'll find out. See, he's uh, back up on his feet. Let's see what he's doing, so uh, probably be a little bit groggy. Stop. But the good news is he's back on his feet. And just as he hits the ground, it's as if his head drops down just a little bit, and he gets caught. So what does the referee do here? Well, because it's all about intent. Yeah, it is possible, mate. Ricky! 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 Ricky Lutelli going to be spoken to then by Jack Smith. I don't need you, John, it's all right. He's been a, a very busy man this evening. Let's there see what he has to say. Height, but that's got to be expected with a fullback catching the ball. If you still hit him in the head, it's ten minutes in the Simbin. A second yellow card. And this one... Goes to Ricky Lutelli. Well, I think fans of Super League get used to this until the players learn, and they'll learn the hard way. There'll be cards galore early on. It's not what we want to see, but we have to stress that the rules that are in to protect the players, protect the game, have to be adhered to, and the players need to understand and understand quick. It is all about the players' health, and especially contact with the head. With these directions. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. He just has to get Asiatus. We're all on board with these directions. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. He just has to get Asiata back out of the bin. He lose another one to Adrian Lamb. And his troops are doing it tough, but it's more often than not, it's through their own doing. Kudjo now played through the middle on this right side. Clean, flicking it out to the right hand side for Nagama. Nagama's oh, still going. John! slip away from one or two tackles eventually they get him down and they come once more clue back into Wilson five, stand up. Oh, five. Wilson now down the left flank again little chip ball through it'll be fairly easy for Tom Briscoe who's got away from his marker and he could get all the way across the pitch here he can manage to find some support but he can't good covering tackles from the Huddersfield Giants but for all of a second there, Tom Briscoe was away and running for the try line. Lee managing to keep the ball in play. Spraying it across the field. Wanted a quick play of the ball. Josh Charlie gets a six again. As Asiata straightens up back through the centre of the field once more. Well, when you're up against it, perhaps you have to take a few risks in the position that they're in. Asiata. Flung out to the near side for Moylan and back into Robbie Mulhern. The kick was a decent one from Huddersfield on Lee's line. But the defence anticipating that Briscoe will catch the ball and then break free is just a bit soft. That's just raised the atmosphere a little bit here among the Lee fans as well. Lee, just giving them the a little bit something to shout about after they'd gone very, very quiet at the start of this second half. Tom Amone to the 10 metre line. Move now! Inching closer and closer. Oh, Leroy, you're outside, As it's Leroy. pushed down to the left hand side. Lachlan Lamb with a rubber kick through, but it takes a deflection. And Huddersfield regain position on their own 10 metre line. Yeah, the kick from Lamb there just falls into the hands of Hewitt. Perhaps needed to go along the floor. 
the shape was good. It was a chance. But like we said, Hewitt was aware of it. Adam Swift now looking to get involved again. Surprised he's not perhaps seen a little bit more of the ball. Adam Swift. Off the 20 here. Opportunity. Oh, no, no, no. Out on the full. Jay Connor tries to kick the ball through on his own 30 meter line. And he kicks it straight over. We saw that last night in the uh, Hull Derby, didn't we? Yeah, Morgan Smith <laughs> kicks the ball out on the full, and the net result was a try to Hull KR off the back of it. Will we see that here from the Lee Leopards? Absolutely. Go across! They could do with something to pull out of the bag at this stage. Six minutes into the second half. Here they come then. Through the middle. Here John Asiata. Move together, Ash! Players moving. Way down the right hand side towards us. Dan Norman is uh, on the field as a substitute and as it comes out to the left hand side he might pick it up here but it's bypassed and goes for Lamb yeah, oh, got a that. 10 yard line to meter oh, line and lost Matty English on Kyle O'Donnell oh, just sees him coming back under and a solid right shoulder contact from him this is the error Dan Norman there you are Kev Ash Goldie Go. Kev stop out behind forward. him as it's uh, pushed in towards Wallace <laughs> Towards the 40 meter line, Golden waiting behind him. Well, we thought we were maybe going to get something a bit different in the second half, but we've had cards and mistakes again. Fraser looks like we're going to be in for another half an hour of it. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's hard work for the players. And it has to be said, both sides really kind of cancelling each other out to a large extent. You mentioned in the first half, just when you feel that a side is starting to put together some players, a bit of momentum, it just gets stopped and destructed. It's going to take a special player just to get hold of it, pick the right moment to come into the game and produce some points. John Lee with uh, O'Brien waiting just behind him, bringing it in towards Norman. Davis waiting. Wants to go himself. Third. Move now! Asiata. Where are we? Waiting behind him. Goes to the left side. For Norman. Down Norman, 10 metres along the line. Lee decided to come down the right hand side. Boyle with a long pass this time. Lachlan Lamb out towards the right hand side for Zach Hardacre, who's just wrapped up in the tackle. Tom Briscoe was waiting. Just out to his right hand side, but instead O'Brien with a long pass this time. Moylan's little grubber kick through, and Asiato was chasing after it, but too far. Yeah, right idea. It was like the execution, and Kevin Nagama, he wants to get on with it. Quick tap, gets his side crossing over the 30. That's great play there from Kevin Nagama, wanting to speed the game up on his terms. Huddersfield looking to seize the initiative here, as Wallace has it on his own 40. Goldie, down the line they come, Swift now, waiting for some support, wrapped up by Moylan, Russell again in towards Masters, Masters a try scorer in the first half, they've got a little overlap here if they can find it, Huddersfield, but they run out of space. Hewitt then to Nagama, as Kloon now brings it in to Wilson. Running for support with Golding running in through the back here and trying to find himself some space. A little jack in the box move here from Ash Golding. 20 metres from the line. Yeah, so just field now straight to the left hand side and a high kick in towards Adam Swift who's chasing after it. It might drop down towards Masters and they kick the ball out eventually. But a bit of chaos at the back there. Yeah, knock on there from Adam Swift. Jack Smith calls that play. Or better from Huddersfield, just speeding the rock in and around. It started off with Nagama, his intent to get that quick tap restart. Move together! A little bit of invention as well from uh, Ash Golding. No, that's not what they need, though. Too slow in the play of the ball area, Matty. English 
just Joe puts Matt. his hand up there and recognise that mistake from him. And it's those little parts that coaches get disappointed with, penalties just coming out of their own end, it's just not what they want. They want to try and create pressure through the defence, restrict the metres, get them to kick the ball from inside of their own 30, 40 metres zone. Liam possession again then, in towards Norman. He's uh, had a decent impact since coming onto the pitch. Driven back though towards 40 metre line. Asiata away to the left hand side. Meanwhile, at Headingley, it sounds like a cracking game over there as uh, Leeds and Salford 14 apiece. And London Broncos have got their first try since being promoted back to Super League. St. Helens leading, though, by 26 points to four. Many people. Moylan, then. Could do with a little bit of magic from Matt Moylan. He's not, uh, apart from the rubber kick through for Pachani's try, he's been largely kept quiet, yeah. fairly quiet. Lachlan Lamb out towards the left-hand side. O'Donnell towards the far edge. Last tackle! Go, Kevin! Charlie brings it back in. High hoisted kick. Once again, Jake Connor is underneath it, and John Asiata is right on top of him. Yeah, he just takes his time, he doesn't want to commit the sin that Ricky Letali did earlier. A bit more patient there. Look, there's, there's 28 minutes left in this game, and the very nature of the stop start approach of it, you just get the sense, Fraser that the next score is vital, even with that much time still remaining in this game. Going to be huge, absolutely huge. Golding, bring it through the middle, Murchie. Four, who's bad? Square Frankie! Golding waiting again. Hill, oh, and it bounces off Murchie and into the hands of Moylan. Moylan with a little bit of space, but he's run out of it now. He flings it back in, away to the left-hand side, Nakabuai. Almost to the, to the 20 metre line, the referee is going to give a set restart here as well. Now he's blown the whistle because we've got a player who's down in back play. Jake Connor down on his knee. Uh, it's the second time that uh, Jake Connor has taken a, a whack for his play. Meantime, John Asiata and Jack Smith. It's a green card or a hate card. Jack Smith will have to show the green card, and yeah. that will mean that Jake Connor has to spend two minutes on that sideline. So we're all even at the moment for the next two minutes, 12 on 12. Jake Connor giving a green card. He has to go and get looked at by the medical staff. Meanwhile, Lee in possession on the 20 metre line Great, he's still on the field wait and nakabuai yeah zero will restart on, on zero. the zero lee need to really try and fashion something out of this if they're to get their way back into the game 12 minutes in the second half but with a real opportunity here out towards the right hand side little flick over to the right hand side quick hands, you could see exactly what they were trying to do there in trying to release Tom Briscoe on the right-hand side, but too much, too quick. Yeah, Matt Moylan swings round from the left-hand side of the field to create a number, but the patience and the decision-making from the left-winger, Adam Swift, his beautiful wing play, he just jams Gareth O'Brien and forces that pass, forces that skill to be put under pressure. And Adam Swift there with a terrific read. Just kills the threat from Lee. Ollie. Ollie, let's go. Ricky Lutelli is back on the pitch. With uh, his sin binning. And Who's Lee now having to do some defending oh. as they try and keep Huddersfield penned in. Here's Nagama. Move Ben! Square mark! Ten Frankie. Go two. Big push through from Ikahihifo. Three. Move Ben's Three, hold his Here's Chris Hill. Plenty to say in the first half to the referee. A little bit quieter in the second. Back and fully fit and playing again after tearing a pectoral muscle in his chest while on international duty for England in the 
Winter International Series. Middle, Adam! High hoisted kick from Adam Clue. And that will be gobbled up by Gareth O'Brien. Yeah, good timing as well from Kevin Nagama. As soon as his foot hits the floor, Nagama's shoulder straight through him. Charming. Slowly but surely being brought down. Now the referee has yeah. given a penalty and there was a leg pull there. Well, it was just as the praise the Garma phrase it. He goes in for a second bite at Charnley and pulls that leg. And gives away another yardage penalty. Huddersfield Giants going to have to fix that part of the game up. The scoreboard is in their favour, of course it is. The yardage penalties and the number of them they've given away tonight. I've seen Kevin McGarm have another swipe at it. Just feel as if the discipline really needs to be tightened up. Possibly on both sides, to be fair. And Lutelli and Charnley. As uh, Lamb finds Norman. Move on! 30 metres to go. Out towards Lamb again. Waiting for some support. Moylan. Moylan in towards the 20 before he runs out of space. Waiting for support. In Davis, out to the left side, Akabuai brought down. Just trying to eke themselves a little bit of space, but straight away the Huddersfield defenders are right up on the line to keep Lee at bay. This is the last tackle. Moylan waits, but no, he's given six again here. They'll get six more, and Akabuai going for the line. Just held up short. Moylan waits a dummy half. They're going to try and bulldoze oh. their way over here, but that's an opportunity thrown away. Yeah, oh, Dan Norman, he doesn't need to promote that ball. It's tackled two on a six again play. And he tries an impossible offload, really. Just take your contact, get your head down, play the ball, let your key players take over. Well, it's been one of those games, hasn't it? So stop start. Discipline hasn't been great. And you just feel that these two sides, given the talent that they've got, should be doing a lot better than this. But I came here this evening, Fraser, expecting a real high quality game. But it hasn't been really anything but that. But we still do have a game on our hands, an eight point ball game at the moment. All very much still to play for. Yeah, the Lee Leopards could find a way in this final quarter. Well, it's game on. They'll just need a spark from somewhere. Could it be Josh Charnley that gives it to them? Hell, Don't forget Edwin Ipape missing from the side. Went off with a knee injury very early on in the game and hasn't returned to the bench, so he won't be playing any further oh, part in this dangerous. game. Yeah, that didn't look like a great tackle, yeah, did it? Yeah, Icky he fought. Just almost had really... I don't like the look yeah, of them tackles, they really don't. Just wait, time off. Maybe Jack Smith might have a look at this. Just keep your eyes on the number 18 and the angle that he goes in, giving the, the lead player his backing into it. Just comes through the back of the calves. Yeah. Sebastian Icky is the man who is uh, being talked about. And he's coming at the back of the leg there. It's naughty, that. Well, the upshot is that Lee have it. 30 metres from the Huddersfield line. And it'll be Zach Hardacre to get us underway. Frankie Halton. Bringing it forward. And Davis now. Out to the left. Dan Norman again, 10 metres from the line. Davis waits, they come short to the right-hand side instead. Moylan flicks it out to the right-hand side. Harnaker, this time he does find Briscoe, but Briscoe is short. He should have maybe gone himself there, Zach Harnaker. Absolutely, yeah. He just tries the cute flick pass. He thinks that Adam Swift's going to jam like he's done. They've got six again. They've got six again. So they've got time, they've got opportunities. Nakabuai running at the line. Trying to take a bit more energy out of this Huddersfield defence. I think we score here, Fraser. Out to the left-hand side it goes. Lachlan Lamb managing to find O'Donnell with that strapped-up head. 
Again, quick hands. Trying to find the defence as Frankie Holton goes to the line. Short once more. The pressure building and building for the Lee Leopards. As Asiata takes his time here, he's as if he's run out of ideas there. Just slowing the play down, holding on to the ball and almost waiting for the tackle. As Lee reset themselves, Boylan with a dab through, and again, it's too far. That's the number of kicks he's done this evening. And he's just put too much weight on it. And I thought Huddersfield were under an enormous pressure there. He got to pay credit to them. The kick from Moylan. Too heavy once more. And another chance goes begging for the Lee Leopards. They've had a number of them in similar circumstances throughout the evening. But still, so far, only the one tried to show for it. Scored yeah. by Josh Charnley. You know, we talk about the attacking threat for the Lee Leopards. We've been mentioning it all night. It was so, so important and so pivotal in their successes last season. But it hasn't quite clicked for them tonight. Ikehihifo is brought down. Russell Waits is, uh, comes out to the near side for Murchie. He's hands on the ball a lot tonight, hasn't he? Murchie. Player down in back play again, somebody having another head injury as assessment by the looks of things. I can't quite see who it is. It's a great chase from that left edge. The bastards, Swift and Russell. And these are difficult carries now for Tom Briscoe. Chris Hill goes looking and misses. But this is important part now in Huddersfield. Could wrap it up. You think if they're going to try and put this game to bed, Huddersfield, they need to be doing it sooner rather than later. They're still waiting on seeing who that player is that's taken a whack. It might be Lou Telly. And it's Dan Norman. Move together! Yeah, it is Dan Norman. So he's had a bit of treatment and he's making his way back into the line. Adam Milner away! Lee coming forward. O'Donnell has a, a knock there. Yeah, that's the so, answer. Soft pass into O'Donnell's chest. And it's knocked on. And that's good from Huddersfield. Good defensive set from Lee coming away from their own end. Yeah. And it's O'Donnell who had his uh, hands there. In towards the ball, bouncing off his chest. We've not seen that free flowing try scoring ability of the leopards so far in 2024 just haven't clicked tonight no. really, has it okay, an hour go. into this new season go, of course it is round one he scored points for fun last year we are finding it very very difficult here tonight swift russell waiting behind him he comes to Murchie. He's had a fairly solid debut, I think. Jack Murchie's had his hand on the ball plenty of times, plenty of good runs. He's worked hard. Here's Clune finding Nagama. Nagama coming back. Stand up, great. He's uh, almost running into some of his own players. Milner to the left hand side. For Frankie! Okay, he releases it to Milner again down the right from Russell and finds Hill Bukai, ten close and close just over 10 metres remaining out to the right hand side will come out towards this far touch line and it looks as though Huddersfield may well have got themselves a try here and it could be Elliot Wallace who has claimed it the referee on field has given it as a try, but we'll be hearing from the video referee once again. Tackle five, on field call the try. Just checking touch and grounding. So, in possession clearly and well in field at this point. Corner flag is irrelevant. Ball's grounded, just want to make sure the feet are up, and the feet are clearly up. Thank you, I've seen all I need.
So, decision pending. Here he comes. And it is indeed given as a try for Elliot Wallace. Signed on a four-year deal from Castleford. Yeah, four tries in 13 games last season. I'm pleased to open his account for Huddersfield Giants. Yeah, he's obviously impressed Ian Watson during pre-season. Three tries and a try tonight. And you just see there, Lachlan Lamb just jumps the line. And Latelli and Charnley, a slight disconnect on that left edge. One behind the other. Charnley comes in to kill. And Wallace just scores on his debut. And what a day to remember for him. The 23-year-old. So, Oli Russell right. with a chance to extend the lead, but from as you can see, right up against the sideline. Going to make it very difficult indeed. He's had two from two so far. Making it three from three, though, would be something special from this angle. And the other problem that he's got there, as you can see, is that the Ground just drops away from him on the curve of the side of the pitch. He's going to, going to make his run up even more difficult, so that's why he's decided to go down the other side. So, Ollie Russell strikes it, and it's just right. There's uh, no major surprise. But the bottom line is that Huddersfield Giants lead by eight points in this game. With what, just over 15 minutes remaining, Ash Golding with a lovely pass out and a lovely debut try for Elliot Wallace. Yeah, so concerns though about that left edge making different decisions. No connectivity, no togetherness really on that play. And Ash Golding, like you mentioned there, Fraser, able just to wait and pick his pass. Wallace just holding that chalk and gets a try there. 16 4. Been pretty influential so far, Ash right. Golding. Yeah, he's been lively since he came onto the field. Decided to get rid of the scrum cap as well. Just needed a little bit of a spark from somewhere, didn't it, for Huddersfield? And uh, perhaps Ash Golding is the man who has uh, supplied it. We're off. Ten now, Tom. So into the Three. latter the part guy. of the game. Nice Huddersfield Leroy. Giants leading Lee Leopards by 16 points to four. Long high chip kick looking for it. It's, uh, it's gone into touch. And Lee will regain possession. And that uh, own 30. Just to put it into context, you know, this side of the Lee Leopards, they've only got one new addition in Matt Moylan. The last season, across two games, they managed to pull 64 points on the Giants for his uh, only four tonight. Just to let you know that Jake Connor has failed his head injury assessment, so he won't be taking any further part in this game. So, as a result, uh, Adam Milner has come on to replace him. Here's Mulhern for the Lee Leopards. And after that little bit of uh, a spark we saw not so long ago when uh, Tom Briscoe had the ball and was racing along down the touchline, it all seems to have gone a little bit quiet again. Yeah, sure has. Kick here from Moylan. Looking oh, through the middle of the field. Ashton Golding was almost under it. He spilled it, though, and gets it at the second attempt. But given as a knock-on anyway. Gareth O'Brien there just knocks the ball on as he tries to compete with Ash Golden. And I'm just looking down the team sheet of Huddersfield well, Giants, you know, noticeable absentees in Bibby, Yates, Tui Lola here, Harry Rushton, all you could argue should be in that, inside that 17. So some positives for Ian Watson to look further ahead at, you know, seven of their opening nine games away from home, a difficult task for them, but they've answered questions here tonight, Fraser. Well, elsewhere, over at Headingley, that looks like a cracking game as well. Leeds 16, Salford 16. And a lot of people expecting that uh, the Rhinos might be running away with that one, but uh, the Devils not having a bit of it. And Saints 36, London Broncos 4. Here at the Lee Sports Village. 
still Huddersfield 16, Lee 4. Out, Frankie! Lee Hold having to back. do some defending at the moment. Hilton at the back of the ruck. Hoisted high. By Huddersfield once again, straight into the hands of their guy, Phil Green, who's had a pretty solid night at full back for the Leopards. Huddersfield Giants not needing to do anything. Do you feel as if they've maybe taken their foot off the gas a little well, bit? Well, it here? seems like the game has sort of plateaued now and has fizzled out, but Huddersfield, you know, for me, the Lee Leopards, they're the ones who are chasing now. They've got 12 points to chase, two converted tries inside 12 minutes. This Lee sign are capable of it. But Huddersfield just need to get through the sets, defend well, keep good discipline, and they should go on and win this game. Tom O'Mahon tackled. It's uh, Mulhern now. Swings it through to Moylan. Brilliant. Quick hands down the line for Briscoe, who's found a bit of space. Briscoe back inside, running out of space though. Davis is tackled. They take it going through Halton. Moylan and Lamb. Lamb with a kick forward. Man, that's a good take yeah. from Ashton Golding. And didn't he do well there? His Arriving eyes were on it right from the start, weren't they? Arriving onto the ball at pace. Takes it so well at the back there, Ash Golding. Move Tom! Square up, Matt! Wallace. And now through Adam Swift. Good hey, tackle on Adam Swift. Which came in from Matt Moylan. And uh, Swift has come off second best there by the looks of things, just holding his head and looking a little bit groggy. Maybe got a bit of a groin problem as well as he limps away. I'll keep an eye on that one for you. Milner. Back out to Clue with a high lofted kick. One is straight down the throat of Josh Charlie. Good kick pressure there from Robbie Mulhern on Clue. And they've lost the ball on that far side of the field. It's another opportunity. The door opens up once again for Huddersfield. As Hewitt just looks to put the brakes on, find a quick play of the ball. Well, both sides have been guilty of it, to be fair. Yeah. A lot tonight. As Golding out towards Kajo. Ikehifo trying to push his way through. Runs into another brick wall. Kajo down the left side. Happy again for Murchie. Ten metres short of the line. And if Huddersfield were to score here, I think that might well be game over. As it gets very, very close. For Chris Hill. As they push through again, back towards, right up against the line. This will be the last tackle. Last opportunity for Hull in this set. Out towards the right hand side from Kajo. Down the line again they go, but this time it's too far. They were looking to try and do the same sort of thing as previous for Elliot Wallace to score in the corner, but the pass out to him was pretty poor. Yeah, just weren't able to waste that opportunity there. Wallace just on the outside of Charnley. Lee Leopard's defence though just gets up two metres for his and holds. Leaves himself wide open for just being bulldozed over the line, but the skill from Huddersfield Giants wasn't what it needed to be. Charnley, uh, sorry, Hardacre. So he is uh, brought down. Looking for Lutelli. And looks like another penalty is going to be given here for offside. And uh, Lee will get an extra bit of advantage. As we move into the last, what, eight minutes of this game, Kyle, I'm going to have to ask you to start thinking about who is going to be your player of the match, which I think is probably going to be a pretty difficult job. Yeah, it is, to be honest. Given the way this game has gone. Mulhern, that's a good carry. Is that the moment, that the carry there, where they side wake up and pull some points here? Lachlan Lamb finding Moylan. Moylan to the 10-metre line as he's wrapped up by three Huddersfield players. Halton. Waiting just behind him, he's got a moan to his left-hand side, but bypasses him and goes for Asiata instead. Again, wrapped up. Really for Huddersfield. With ten now, meters to go. Great opportunity here for the home side as Lamb out to the right-hand side for Briscoe. Tom Briscoe right in the corner for the Lee Leopards. And my word, they needed that. Just under eight minutes remaining in the game. The referee will want to have a look at it. But is this the start of a fight back for the home side? 
Get the truck line, please. Well, they're going to have a look at it, aren't they? In case Tom Briscoe's leg crosses the whitewash over on the, the sideline before he puts the ball down. Jack Smith says it's a try on the field. Let's hear from the video ref. Okay, so it's tackle four on field, we've got a try. Checking touch and grounding. So clearly in possession is well in field at this point. Ball appears to be grounded there. Thank you, I've seen all I need. So the decision is a try for the Lee Leopards and Tom Briscoe, another of the old campaigners, has possibly put Lee back in this game with just under eight minutes remaining, eight points in it. Well, anything the left-hand side can do, the right hand can get in on the act as well. Gareth O'Brien, he just releases that short pass, that soft pass, as Hardacre just pulls that shot wide. We Tom Briscoe gets over in the corner. We've got seven minutes to play. It's an eight point ball game. Lamb out the back. O'Brien releases Tom Briscoe to give him a chance, a bit of hope. Perhaps that is just the spark that the Lee Leopards need at this late stage in the game to maybe pull something out of the fire here. Yeah. Zach Hardick, if he'd have converted that. And we would have been in with a real finish for this game. Seven minutes left, there would have been six points in it. But perhaps eight is just too much, given the time left on the clock. The clock is the Giants' friend at the moment. You can imagine that they will do everything they possibly can now to slow the game down, keep hold of the ball. Well, the key and is to stop Lee from getting into their own heart, getting into the Giants' heart. Exactly, Fraser, that's the key. Don't let this leopards it, don't let these leopards inside your own 40. Keep them down this end of the field. Mulhern then to return the ball for the Giants. And all of a sudden, there's just a glimmer of hope for the home side as Moylan. And suddenly there's a, a quicker crispness about the passing for the Lee Leopards here as Hardacre is brought down in the tackle. Moylan out towards Halton. Waiting for the support. Moylan again. As uh, it's pushed out from Asiata out towards O'Donnell. And Telly waiting just behind him. But instead, Davis stands up, brings it back in towards this near side touchline. Lachlan Lamb to Matt Moylan and now to O'Brien, who's joined the line. Moylan again. And a high hoisted kick, and it needs a good attack oh, here no in order to try and pen Huddersfield in. And they get that eventually, courtesy of the bounce, right up against the try line there. Well, Wallace let one bounce earlier on in the first half, and he didn't want a part of that again. And the bounce favours the Giants. These are tough carries now. This is where the pre-season work that you've done really starts to tell if you've got the energy if you've got the strength in the bank to try and see out the game in this late stages when all of a sudden the opposition have been given just a sniff here's Kajo brought down by Hardacre wants to play it quickly booted upfield and then taken out in back play that looked like a, a nasty challenge uh, that went in on Ollie Russell and the physios are going over to have a look at him. Meanwhile, Lee trying to recycle play here on the Giants' 40-metre line. Lutelli. Lutelli trying to run up against the brick wall. Just to let you know that uh, Dan Norman has now failed a head injury assessment. So they're dropping like flies for the Lee Leopards here. Well, it's been uh, a bit of a nightmare in terms of injuries, head assessments, yellow cards, but at this moment they are still in the game. Tom Amon almost to the 10-metre line. 
Moylan waiting for it, Davis waiting for it, they're all queuing up now. Lee, do it down the left-hand side, Lachlan lands, grab a kick, straight into a defender. Yeah, the kicking game from the Lee Leopards, it hasn't been where it's needed to be tonight. You know, a couple of times Lachlan Lam has put a kick in that hasn't quite gone where exactly where it's wanted and the Giants players it's come up with ball in hand. And I think as well, Matt Moylan, number of his kicks, Fraser, have been too long. That, that attack hasn't quite got going yet so far in this first round in 2024. But let's credit Huddersfield's Giants defence. They've been asked a lot of questions tonight, and more often than not, they've come oh, up with it. 8,508 people in attendance here tonight at the Lee Sports Village. Another good attendance for the home side. And uh, as I said earlier, we are expecting a full possibility that we might get the record attendance for first-round fixtures in the Super League. So. I'm going to have to push you on your player of the match. I know it's a difficult choice, Kyle, but uh, who are you going to give it to? Yeah, very, very difficult tonight, Fraser. Obviously, I don't think anyone really. And there's another error. It's hacked forward by Milner. Nagama's there. after it is Nagama. Nagama, if he can get a dab down, he can't. A lovely last second tackle right at the back coming in and denying Kevin Nagama from sealing the game. Josh Charlie there worked so hard coming in off that left wing. Chasing it down, beating Nagama in a foot race to save his side. An almost certain try there, Nagama chasing up the back of Briscoe's error, but it's six more. Goal line drop out then, and they've gone short for this one. They obviously feel like they can get the ball back, and they have. Clever little play there as O'Donnell gets hold of it. Amon comes forward. So come on, player of the match, who's it going to be? Look, I'll keep it short and sweet. I've just been impressed with the work rate through the new recruit, the back rower, Jack Murchie. I think he's had his hands on the ball a number of times. He's been very industrious and he's also been quite good defensively as well. And again, I think in a game that hasn't really been torn apart with class or quality, I feel that he's put a real good effort in an 80-minute shift from him. So he's our bet for a player of the match for round one. Just over a minute and a half left, and now you could see a, a good run from Adam Swift there as he just tries to keep possession and keep the ball in the lee half and just try and keep them honest to make sure that they can run this clock down now. As they try and slow it down, Isan Masters there with a bit of a knock to his leg. Kajo for the visitors. And that record that I mentioned earlier on at the start of the game of uh, Lee never winning an opening Super League fixture and uh, now moves to five attempts by the looks of things. It's never a great start, but it's all about how you finish, of course, and how they finished last season was quite sensational. Surely they'll be able to rediscover a bit of that form as the season goes on. Yeah, I think ultimately disappointment for the people of Lee, the fans of Lee, they came here with high hope and expectation to build on last year. And it just hasn't quite happened tonight. Now, look, there is better days ahead for both of these teams, I do believe. But I've got to pay credit to Ian Watson's men coming to a difficult environment in round one. Probably most people tipping Lee to go on and win this game before the ball was kicked. But they've done everything right, Fraser, they really have. And they've been, you know, they've been worthy of what, what they've been able to do here tonight. Hand round the neck in the uh, tackle there from Chris Hill on uh, Josh Charming, so a penalty given. And uh, Lee with the final chance perhaps in the last few seconds. There goes the heater. That will be that as soon as the ball is dead. But uh, Moylan trying to keep it alive and uh, hands in uh, at the uh, pass there, which means that that is it. The game is over and the Huddersfield Giants have won this one by 16 points. To eight. It's not been the most exciting or the most entertaining game, I suppose no. it's probably fair to say, bit of an arm wrestle, Kyle. No, but, uh, well, I would even go one further and say there wasn't really an opportunity to force an arm wrestle due to the number of stoppages in play, the discipline, cards again in this game. You know, players are going to have to get used to the interpretation and the new, the new laws or the well, they're clamping down on those laws, but some errors in this game are just fundamental, basic errors. And yes, of course, as we progress through into the season, the ones who are able to get a hold of that, get them completion rates up and really begin set for set football, will go on and get a groove in, with, in the rest of the competition.
It's always difficult, isn't it, in this first game of the season. The conditions are never great, the ball's a little bit greasy, it's a bit wet on the ground, players are still getting used to other teammates, new plans, etc, yeah. etc. Et and I think we saw plenty of that tonight. Yeah, we did, we did. And let's just clear credit to Huddersfield Giants. You know, when they got opportunities, they were able to make the most of them. And I just feel that ultimately disappointment, really, from a league perspective in terms of what they threw up last year. They've just been a little bit off the races here tonight. Well, hopefully we can go down pitch side and speak to the man who has been selected as the player of the match as he celebrates in front of the Huddersfield Giants fans travelling army. And that is Jack Murchie, who is uh, going to be joining us uh, very, very shortly. It's